In an interview with the Washington Post on November 11, 2003, left-wing billionaire George Soros said that removing President George W. Bush from office was the central focus of my life and a matter of life and death. He said he would sacrifice his entire fortune to defeat President Bush if someone guaranteed it. This ultra-liberal financial supporter of groups like MoveOn.org donated almost $24 million to defeat George Bush. So what does Mr. Soros think of Mitt Romney for president? If it's between Obama and Romney, there isn't all that much difference. Is he correct? Dozens of Wall Street executives who once uh, banked on President Obama are now banking on Mitt Romney. Tim Geithner is as sharp and as skilled uh, a public servant as we have. He's a person of accomplishment uh, and skill. Uh, I think he's a very bright uh, individual. I will preserve and protect a woman's right to choose and am devoted and dedicated to honoring my word in that regard. I will not change any provisions of Massachusetts's pro-choice laws. Just because you have an individual right does not mean that the state or local government can't constrain the exercise of that right. We do have tough gun laws in Massachusetts. I support them. I won't chip away at them. I believe they help protect us and provide for our safety. You've got a governor who's running for president right now who instituted the exact same thing in Massachusetts. If you don't want to buy insurance, then you have to help pay for the cost. No more free riders. And you can't be a free rider on everybody else. In fact, uh, I agree with uh, Mitt Romney, who recently said he's proud of what he accomplished on health care. He's right. If it's between Obama and Romney, there isn't all that much difference. We can't afford two George Soros-approved candidates this fall. We need a candidate who will fight for hard-working taxpayers. We need a candidate who left-wing billionaires like George Soros fear, because they will fundamentally change Washington. We need Newt Gingrich.